It's so weird seeing the cable max this slow, man. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I'll be testing how slow can you print on the K1 Max. A couple weeks back, I did a video on how fast you can print on the K1 Max. So if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link down below so you can go check it out yourself after you watch this video. I'll put a clip right here so that you have a preview. 1000 millimeters per second. Oh my god, it's shaking everything. Holy crap, it fell. Okay. Let's scratch today's topic. What I'm going to be doing in this video is explore how slow you can print on the Cable Max. And does it affect quality? Does it affect anything? So I'm going to show you on my computer right, right now. Right now, I am using Orca Slicer to perform this test. Okay, let's take a look at the speed here. I'm going to try something different. So firstly, I had a 100mm, so let me try and put zero and see what happens. Okay, the value is on the range, so one is the slowest speed, so I'm gonna do one for everything. Okay, as you can see there, I put one for every single speed that is available here. I'm gonna slice it and see what happens. Slicing is gonna take me about seven hours. What the? Look at that, bro. It's gonna take seven hours and 54 minutes. Wow, okay, that's way too long. <laughs> but I'm gonna try anyway. Would it clog? Will it even extrude? Would you even get the first layer to print or whatever? Whatever questions you have. I'm gonna see how this is gonna go. I'm gonna see how low can you go. <laughs> you know where I get that from. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you get it right, I'll pin your comment. Let me scale this down back to 100%. That only takes one hour and 42 minutes. So. This block is a block I'm going to be using for my next project in the upcoming weeks. So stay tuned for that and you know how to do that by subscribing. This is just going to take 1 hour and 42 minutes. So let's get printing. Okay, before we look at the 3D printer or before it start printing, we'll be looking at the speed here. So we can go to line time, put into speed. As you can see there, the speed is only at 1. And if we look at the slider down here, you can see that it says 1 only. There's like a 500 in there somewhere. but I think that's only for um, acceleration and stuff like that. And let's go and see the flow. It's gonna flow at 0 0.11, 0 0.01, the minimum. <laughs> um, I don't know how this is gonna go. We will see together. I wonder if this is gonna clog. Okay, now it's starting to print. It's doing the purge line. So after this, we will see what one millimeter per second looks like. <laughs> This is the first time I'm seeing it too, so we will experience this together. Okay, I got rid of the purge line so we can see better now. Look at that, it, it's actually printing. Whoa, hopefully you can see that. It's very hard to focus in that small area. 10 times zoom in, let's see if this works. Okay, we can see it, but the quality of my voice is gonna be very bad because, because of the zoom in. But you can see there. It's actually printing, what? <laughs> it's printing so nicely though. Hopefully everything sticks well. Oh boy, this is gonna take a long, long time. <laughs> it's gonna take one hour and 43 minutes, boy. I wonder how good, how good the quality is, huh? We will have to wait and see. Okay, so now the fan is starting to kick in. <laughs> we will see, look at that. It's actually printing, um, the first layer is. Come on, focus. Why are you not focusing? Hey, zoom in, it's gonna be very loud. Uh oh. Turn down the volume. Oh, this is actually exciting. What? It's moving so slow. It's so weird seeing the cable max this slow, man. It's gonna be very loud, so turn down your volume a bit. It's barely moving. This is one millimeters per second. You gotta wait almost two hours, but for you, it will just be a second. 20 times zoom. Yeah, I'll update you guys after this has finished printing. Okay, look at this. One hour, 42 minute, done. And this is done printing. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah. This piece should just take three minutes. <laughs> okay, let's take it off and let's look at this. The top layer seems fine. Yeah, the top layer seems fine. <laughs> let's um look at this. The layer here. You can definitely see right there that 
there's some skipping right there. Yeah, there's a layer skip right there. There's a layer skip. There's a teeny tiny defect right there. Some stringy. It's not uniform. Overall, it's not the best, prettiest print ever. Let's take a look at the first layer. Actually, it seems pretty good. Let's check on the other side. Oh my gosh, the other side, it's even worse. Look at that. Right there, there's like a huge skip right there. Let's compare it to a normal one. I'm printing at normal speed. So this one, this one right here, is, this one is printing at normal speed, like 200, 300 millimeters per second on the wall. And look at that. It printed so good. There's no layer skip. Everything is uniform. There's no any ringing at all. But if you compare it to the one millimeters per second printing speed, <laughs> it just... Um, skipping layers and stuff like that. It's the the flow is so small that it's just under extruding. This one printed nicely. You can definitely see the differences in printing quality. So the question is, is printing slow better than printing fast? Not in this case. <laughs> Not in this case because this is one millimeter per second versus three hundred millimeters per second, and the quality is totally different. I can clean up the bottom, that's nothing. But it's the side wall and the layer. I don't think the layer adhere nicely to each other as well because it's printing so slow, it's flowing so slowly. Well, I think I definitely answered my own question. Maybe some of you have the same question. It's printing slow, one millimeters per second. Good for the printer. I mean, it's okay for the printer because it's extruding extremely slowly, so there might be a chance for clogging, something like that. But is printing slower better? I mean, not in this case, but in other cases, like 15 millimeters and stuff like that, I think that's fine. But one millimeters per second, it's not, it's doable, but the printed quality finish is quite bad. It keeps skipping because it's flowing so slowly, sometimes it might not even come out. And yeah, well, I definitely answered the question. Is printing at slower speed good? Nope. You gotta print a little bit fast, not too slow, not too fast, and you gotta find the sweet spot. But for the cable mats, I have been doing my testing and some printing. I know that this 3D printer love going fast. If you print slow, this printer hate it, and the quality and the result you're gonna get is a lot worse than when you're printing faster on the cable mat. And yeah, that is it with this video. So printing slow, it doesn't really improve the quality. Printing overly way too fast, like a thousand millimeters per second flow rate at 200 flow rate <laughs> that's not gonna work either if you want to see that video check the link in the description down below but that is it for this video and as always keep on 3d printing